In this mini clip, we will be discussing ratio and proportion. Our question reads, in a certain chemical reaction, for every three moles of CO2 produced, four moles of water are produced. How many moles of water are produced if 15 moles of CO2 are produced? So let's just highlight the key points first. We know that for every three moles of CO2, we get four moles of water. This is known as a ratio. Now, if we have 15 moles of CO2, we want to find out how many moles of water are produced. So looking at our first ratio, three moles of CO2 for four moles of water, we're going to write this in fraction form. In our numerator, we will have moles of CO2. So I'm just going to write MOL for moles and CO2. In our denominator, we will have moles of water. So mole of H2O. Now we're going to substitute our values in for our numerator and denominator. So first off, we have three moles of CO2 all over four moles of water. This is our first ratio. Now, we want to know how many moles of water are produced, which means in our second ratio, we don't know the moles of H2O, or our denominator. But we do know that our numerator is 15. So we have 15 moles of CO2. And since we don't know the moles of H2O, I'm going to put an X in our denominator. Now to solve for our unknown, we're going to have to equate these two ratios. So we have to have these equal to each other. Now in order to solve for x, we need to cross multiply, which means we're going to bring this x up and multiply it by the 3, and we're also going to bring this 4 up and multiply it by the 15. So we'll still have this equal sign. Cross multiplying, we will have 3x is equal to, I'm going to put in brackets, 4 times 15. If I write these numbers in parentheses, it indicates multiplication. So 4 times 15 will just give us 60. So I'm going to rewrite this, 3x is equal to 60. And lastly, isolating for x, the operation between 3 and x is multiplication. So to get rid of the 3, we need to divide both sides by 3, since division is the opposite operation of multiplication. 3 divided by 3 cancel out, or divide out to 1, so we're left with x equal to 60 divided by 3 is 20. So now we just need to write our concluding statement. Therefore, now remember, our x represented our moles of H2O. So, therefore, 20 moles, don't forget our units, of H2O are produced. And this is how you solve this problem.